Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to show you this new add-on that I created. It's called Node Connector and what it does, it connects your active node to any of five other pre-chosen nodes. And um, why is this useful? Well, whoever works a lot with nodes um, uses Node Wrangler. And Node Wrangler has this really, really cool uh, shortcut, uh, it, which is a Shift Alt Click. And it connects uh, any active node, so any node, to the group output. And that's really, really useful uh, so that you can see from each node what comes out. But sometimes, and when I say sometimes, in my case, it's a lot of times, I would want to connect uh, to another node. Because sometimes you get these huge node trees and you do part per part and then you join them all together in a finished scene. And sometimes you work on something and you want to be able to see all the other things that you already done and you want to be able to see like the interaction and connection and the relations between these different objects. And that's something that, as far as I know, is not available in Blender or in Node Wrangler. So, for example, he here I have these uh, spheres. And let's say this is part of my node tree that's done. And I don't want to change that. But I want to be able to see it when I'm working on this. So when I'm like checking out what comes out of this node, of this node, of this node. and But I still want to be able to so see these uh, spheres. So how can I do that? And, and this is where this add-on comes to help. So now I I can choose this node to be one of those five nodes that are pre-selected. And, uh, and then all I need to do is select a node and then with a shortcut I can connect to it so it connects to this from anywhere I want. And I can see what happens in real time and this is very useful. And, uh, and then again, you can you can even, I don't know, maybe uh, you have like a subdivision surface node and you want to connect to it. So you want to see what happens if you if we subdivide this or if we subdivide this. So I can connect it to this one before going to the output. Or maybe I just want to see uh, the number of uh, vertices. So I want to see number of vertices from here or from here, whatever. This is, by the way, display attribute node from the BB nodes add-on, also link in the description. And, uh, and that's why I created this add-on. So now that I hopefully explained it, uh, what it does, now I'm going to show you how it works. So you can simply install it. This is when you install it, you'll get this node connector. You'll enable it. And here you can set the shortcuts. But let's go a bit back. Uh, you will also get this side panel here, node connector. Uh, so press N to open the side panel. And under this menu, node connector, you will see this. You can choose one to maximum of five of these pre-chosen nodes. So how can you select a node to be one of these target nodes, these pre-chosen nodes. You can do it from a list of all the nodes in your node tree, which is not very easy to do when you have like hundreds and hundreds of nodes, but still it's useful to at least see it here once it's chosen. And uh, the other way to do it is to select it, right click on it, then we have this node connector, and then you can set as target one, two, three, or whatever. So we choose as target one, and here you will see it's subdivision surface. And the last way to do it, so to chose to set a target node, is just to set a shortcut. And we've seen it how to do that. So under preferences, here are the number of target nodes. Also, you can change it. And here you set the shortcut to set Select the node as target one, as target two. So by default, it's control one to set the node as target, and then one, two, three, four, five to connect to those target one, two, three, four, five nodes. And uh, obviously, you can also choose to connect to that target with these buttons. So, like this, connect to target one, and you see it's connected. Or you can right click on it node connector and connect to target one. 
this is practically all there is to it but we still have a one little option here so this is a set output socket and set input socket that's when sometimes you want to connect to a different socket other than the first one so the default one because this one works for the first socket it always connects to the first socket geometry is by default the first socket of every node so this would probably work without changing any of these settings but sometimes if you want you can set your output socket to a different index so zero is the first one one is the second one two is the third one and so on so for example if i want to select so this is my start output index so if i want to select for example if i want to connect for example from these third socket which is the index number two so from the rotation to maybe our subdivide surface i can just do this and then connect to target one and you can see that it will start the connection from the third socket which is the rotation so this is index zero this is index one and this is zero index two as you can see if we disable this checkbox then it will go back to the zero index and the same thing goes for input sockets so if we want to connect so our target for example is subdivision surface and we want to we want this is our target one and we maybe want to connect it to the i don't know fourth which is index zero one two three so let's set this to three and you will see now if i connect it it will create a connection between our first output socket into our fourth input socket and now that is really it so thank you so much for watching if you want to download this add-on it will be in the description and i will talk to you in the next one bye bye